In this short video, I wanna walk you through how you can create an assignment for your class, and when you create that assignment, how it, you can send it directly to your grade book and grade it. And as always, if you have any questions at all, you can email us at d2lhelp at okcu.edu. To get started, go ahead and navigate to the course that you want to create the assignment in. So I've navigated to my sandbox, which is where I can create these and demonstrate these different things uh, for you. The nav bar is right here. It's right above your, your picture. Choose assignments, then choose Dropbox. That takes you to the place where all of your assignments are gonna be organized. Now, if you haven't created any assignments, this will be a blank page. If you do have assignments, you will already have some things there. And to create a new assignment, click New Folder. Now, what that will do is that will split up how our assignments are stored and located in this Dropbox uh, structure. So click New Folder and then put in the details for your assignment. Give it a name. So this is going to be Big Fancy. I use that a lot when I talk about assignments. And then in the next spot, you want to put the direction, specific directions in for your students to follow in order to successfully complete this assignment or the directions they need to complete this assignment. You can add any attachments that you want to add, any kind of file type you can upload, it doesn't matter. You choose it. So whatever your students need, you can make available to them. You can also record audio or record video if you want them to have the opportunity to have those kinds of um, instructions. Then choose how you want your students to submit. They can choose to submit a file. They can choose to submit a text, a paper submission, like they're going to give you a paper in your course, or you can mark off that you observed in person these things. The file submission allows them to upload any kind of file type that you need to assess, and the text submission gives them the HTML box that they can write in. Identify how many uh, uploads they can do. Identify how you want your submissions to be handled. And if you want to receive an email when your students submit something, put your email address in here. Now, this category uh, will split your Dropbox folder into separate chunks. So if you want to put a Dropbox category, you can list that here. This does not go to your gradebook. This is only in the Dropbox uh, organization. Uh, part of the folder. Now uh, give this assignment a score, like how many points are going to be available for this, and you can pick any number of points uh, that you want. I want to say 10. And then uh, the graded item. What we want to do is we want to send this to the gradebook. So click New Grade Item. And that opens up a new box. And this is where we identify how this particular assignment will look in the gradebook. So put in the um, details here that you need them to have. The category, so if you have tests, quizzes, papers, that goes in here as well. How many points that you want, how, how, how you want to grade this assignment for all intents and purposes. On the bottom, you can identify when this assignment becomes available for your students. So you can set a specific start and end date or you can hide it, or however you choose to, to do. Um, it just depends on how your course is set up and how it meets the needs of all your students. There are some default grading schemes, so if your particular course requires one of those, please check here. Lastly, the value rubrics from AACU have been uploaded into D2L. You can view all of those rubrics here, and, and uh, choose one that best suits your needs. There are 16 total rubrics available for you. Uh, this particular paper is uh, that we're creating is a writing paper, and the very last rubric is the written communication value rubric. Choose to add that. Once you have everything set up how you want, the last option to look at is whether you want to use um, the hide the students and have anonymous marking or not. Save and close this page. When you save and close this page, it creates the assignment and is now visible in Dropbox and Gradebook for both you and your students. It's visible in Gradebook if you made it available. Uh, it won't be visible to students if it's not available at this time, but it will always be available to you. So to review, what we're doing 
is creating an assignment by going to your course, choosing Dropbox from the assignments tab in the nav bar, putting in all the information that you need to put in for your students, creating a gradebook link to that, and saving that assignment. 